Yeah, I, look, I, I give Spurs credit. I do. Um, they're playing against nine men. They they get it over the line in the end. They they kept going. I, I give them that the way they're playing football is really nice to watch. I enjoy watching them play. Madison playing on the half turn is brilliant. Basuma running around it gives a hundred percent. The Charleston seems to be adding a little bit as well. So I really like Spurs, but you know there's still an element of I think they get out of jail there. They're, they're playing against nine men for the last twenty minutes. Uh, I think it was the twenty six minute course that John gets sent off. So a large large period of the game. What do they have to do to make you trust them? Because I, I sense you don't trust them yet over the long haul. No, I don't. Well, I just think this, this Sporzy tag, the first thing that pops into my head in the derby last week, Madison gets loses the ball on the edge of his own 18-yard box. I think Jesus puts it over the bar. If that hits the back of the net, then the Sporzy thing is getting thrown at them again. I think they could have easily lost the game to Liverpool, to Diaz goal. Don't want to get back into all that. But I think we can safely say there's an element of luck to them winning that game as well. So... There's, the games they've won, they, they're expected to win. They got out, they got out of jail against Sheffield United. I think they got out of jail against Liverpool as well. So look, they are an awful lot better. They're doing an awful lot better. They're defending a lot better. The bigger boys are coming to the party. We're, bar we're barely talking about Harry Kane, which is huge, huge pl pluses, the way they're playing. But I just think this new manager bounce is going to come out. But to be fair, Jer, I have to say, like a last-minute winner against Liverpool, a last-minute winner against Sheffield United, all of a sudden, that comes into them and they're, they're going down the home straight. Six minutes comes up on the board. They're Lads, delighted. we're going to win this. Yeah. It's like the United in the 90s. You just think, oh, Fergie time. Once a team starts getting that feeling in them, it's very, very hard to stop. So I expect it to come derailed at some point, but the longer they keep going like this, <laughs> the harder it is to stop. Derailed might be, sorry, go on. Well, I was just going to say, like, the quality is is so clear in, in some positions in that team that when the bounce you know, declines, that they'll still be at a, at a fairly high level. For, for you, generally, how long does a, a new manager bounce actually last for? How, how long does, does the, the, the voice of Ange Postacoglu stay novel in that dressing room? Well, as long as they're winning, it will keep going. They will, they will keep feeling it. But like I said, I feel like it could have happened against Sheffield United. They could have lost that game, could have drew that game. If they draw that game, it feels like a loss. If they draw the Liverpool game after them being down to 10 men, I think that feels like a loss as well. So there is an element to look over the last couple of games. But the way they're playing, <laughs> the way they're going at people, toe to toe, I mean, I've seen Christian Romero going and pressing somebody in the midfield. It gets passed back to Virgil van Dijk and he went again. This is a centre half going and pressing people in the opposition half, and I just thought, you know, and maybe a Man City can go and exploit that. But Liverpool obviously were down to nine men; they didn't try and do too much about it. I just think there's some like Pedro Porro, I, I, brilliant going forward, but defensively, I think there's big question marks. Papa Sard is not somebody I think who's going to bridge that gap between Spurs and Manchester City or Spurs and Arsenal. So there's question marks there, but they've got an awful lot stronger this year.